Welcome to the Dog Solid channel, and today we are going over the top 15 facts that you must know about the Schnoodle. These designer dogs, dubbed the Forever Happy Breed, are considered to be one of the most intelligent and cheerful poodle mixes created. Bred to be companion dogs, they are known to fill their owners' lives with love and laughter. If you are interested in finding out if the Schnoodle is the perfect dog for you, watch all the way to the end of the video to make sure that you don't miss any valuable information. Without further ado, let's jump into the 15 facts that you should know about the Schnoodle. Number 1. Schnoodle is a Schnauzer Poodle Mix The Schnoodle is a mixed breed between the Schnauzer and a Poodle. It only makes sense that some brilliant breeder would combine the world's most popular breeds to give a potential owners the best of both worlds. Let's dive into the interesting histories of the Schnoodle's parents, as both breeds have miniature and standard sizes. The Standard and Miniature Schnauzer it is estimated that the Schnauzer origins date back to the farms of Bavaria around the Middle Ages. They are characterized as multitaskers due to their ability to herd livestock, guard the home, and hunt, but they are more known as barnyard ratters. The Schnauzer became popular in America by 1920s as they became renowned show dogs. The Poodle We could create an hour-long video about this popular breed that every breeder wants to create a hybrid with, but we'll stick to some quick facts. The Poodle roots come from Germany, estimated around 400 years ago. They were originally bred as duck hunters, but somehow they later became popular with the French aristocrats and became France's national dog. Intelligence and elegant looks is what makes the Poodle one of the most popular dogs in the world. Number 2. Not recognized by the American Kennel Club As mentioned earlier in the video, the Schnoodle is a crossbreed, or a first-generation dog, meaning it has a Poodle and a Schnauzer for a parent instead of two Schnoodles. Unfortunately, this makes them ineligible to be recognized by various associations such as the CKC, UKC, or the AKC. But you shouldn't be too disappointed, as most designer dogs do not fit into any categories with the popular canine associations. One fact to note is that there are some kennel clubs that will accept the registration of mixed breed or crossbreed dogs for various performance events, including obedience or agility. Number 3. They can be giant or can stay small. Great things come in a variety of sizes, and so does Schnoodle. The weight of the Poodle mix can range between 6 pounds to 75 pounds, depending on the sizing of the parents. The weight can sometimes vary due to these dogs being crossbreed. You just never know what you're going to get. The Poodle comes in the following sizes, toy, miniature, and standard, while the Schnauzers come in miniature, standard, and giant. The smallest size Schnoodle is comparable to a Chihuahua, and it can weigh anywhere from 6 to 10 pounds with a height of 10 to 12 inches, which makes it a great dog if you love to travel or live in a small space. Next up is the medium size Schnoodle, and it typically weighs around 12 to 20 pounds with a height of 12 to 15 inches, and makes a great family pet dog, as its body is able to handle a lot of play without injury. Last but not least, you have the large Schnoodle, which is probably noted as the most energetic out of all the sizes. This large crossbreed ranges from 15 to 26 inches in height and weighs 20 to 75 pounds. The variations in sizes mean that if you have your heart set on the breed, you can certainly find one that fits your life and living space. Just make sure to ask what sizes the parents are. Number 4. Less likely to make you sneeze. The Schnoodle has a low shedding coat which makes them a great companion for those who suffer from allergies. Their low dander coats have a reputation for having hypoallergenic qualities. It's worth mentioning, however, that some people are still allergic to hypoallergenic dogs, and if you are considering getting a dog that have allergies, it's worth spending a bit of time around that breed before you make the decision. Overall, most people that have standard dog allergies are able to tolerate cohabiting with a schnoodle. Number 5. The schnoodle love to butt tuck. Butt tucking is just another word to describe when a dog gets the zoomies. Whenever the schnoodle gets overly excited, that's when the butt tucking will occur and they will start running in circles. This high-speed circle running technique is that their back end stays relatively close to the ground, pelvis tucked in as they run as fast as they can. This strange habit of butt tucking, or zoomies, has given this poodle mix the nickname of Schnoodle 500. Number 6. They make training a breeze. The Schnoodle is a smart dog breed thanks to its parents and one of the easiest dogs to train. In addition to being highly intelligent, these dogs are eager to please and can quickly pick up on any commands that you give to them, with or without any reward. But just like with training any other dogs, they appreciate any reward or praises that follows. Another note to mention is that they sometimes are stubborn if they inherit a lot of the Schnauzer's personality, and these headstrong schnoodles will need a firm and confident trainer. 
Schnoodles can get bored easily from the same training techniques, so make sure to mix it up often enough to keep them entertained. Number seven, coats are soft and are available in many colors. Just like with sizing, this teddy bear mix comes in a wide array of colors. You can find the Schnoodle puppies in the following colors. Brown, gray, white, apricot, tan and black, sable, white, and black black. There are plenty of options if you have a preference for a particular color. No matter the color you pick, you don't have to worry about the fur being soft and fluffy, and you shouldn't feel embarrassed if you want to bury your face in their pillow-like fur. Remember, since this is a crossbreed, its fur can resemble that of the poodle or the schnauzer. Number eight, requires weekly brushing. The type of coat that the schnoodle has will determine the amount of grooming. If your potential snoodle has the soft, wavy type of coat, brush once or twice a week to prevent tangles and mats. The schnoodle will also need to be bathed on an as-needed basis to keep the coat soft. The best time to brush is after a bath. A schnoodle with the rough, wiry coat of the schnauzer parent will not require as much grooming as the silky-haired variety, but weekly brushing is best, with some trimming to keep it tidy and free of dead hair. A schnoodle with the poodle's curly coat needs regular brushing and should be clipped every six to eight weeks. Number nine, can have creative hairstyles. Have fun and be creative with your schnoodle's beautiful coat. Do you want your poodle mix to have long or short hair, a square cut, or maybe even mohawk? Do whatever you like with it when it comes to specific fur style as nothing looks bad on the schnoodle. Number 10, schnoodles have energy to spare. If you think that the schnoodles are a lap dog, then I urge you to think again. Running, jumping, and chasing is what this poodle mix needs to thrive and be happy. Without exercise, they can become restless and frustrated. 60 to 90 minutes of exercise each day is required with a standard breed and 30 to 60 minutes for a miniature size. Take them for a walk, hike, or jog. There are so many options with an active dog like this. As long as you're enjoying yourself, they will be as well. Schnoodles are retriever dogs at heart, so they would love a game of fetch. Take them to dog parks. A well-socialized pup will love meeting new friends. Just be sure to keep them leashed as they could go running off to chase a squirrel. Number 11, they hate being left alone. This poodle mix is going to always want to be by your side and there's nothing you can really do about it. When left alone for long periods of time, the schnoodles can suffer from separation anxiety. This can lead to barking and destructive behaviors. Schnoodles aren't a noisy breed, but if they become bored or are left alone for long periods, they may begin the habit. Once a habit starts for schnoodles, they can be extremely difficult to break. So once the barking starts, you want to be sure to end it ASAP. Number 12, wants to be friends with everyone. The aim of the life of the schnoodle is to love and play. This wonderful, happy, loyal, and intelligent companion is protective over its family, makes a great watchdog, and loves to participate in all aspects of family life. There's not an ounce of a hermit in this breed. Schnoodles take to human friends, dog friends, or whoever is willing to give them attention. It might take them a moment to warm up, as the schnauzer is a known watchdog as stated earlier, but once the schnoodle knows you're not a threat, they'll never let you go. Number 13, can live forever. Okay, so these dogs can't really live forever, but their potential lifespan is longer than that of the average dog breed. The lifespan of this poodle mix can be greatly influenced by the size. Small dogs tend to have longer lifespans than bigger ones. Because there is such a large and unregulated variety in sizes of schnoodles, their lifespans vary greatly. The average lifespan of a miniature schnoodle is about 10 to 18 years. The standard size is about 10 to 16 years, and the giant variety is about 10 to 15 years. However, this could vary depending on the sizes of the parents and the general health and lifestyle of the dog. Number 14, amazing family pet. Being a part of your family is one of the many desires of schnoodles. They, like the schnauzer, are very loyal and will possibly follow you around from room to room in order to stay near you. No matter what you are doing, they want to be there with you. This is not an independent dog that can be left in the backyard. They must be kept in the house with the rest of the family. This breed gets along well with the family and will become a devoted family member. If they've inherited a lot of the schnauzer traits, in addition to being loyal, they'll also be protective. This poodle mix is not an attack dog, but how they will demonstrate that they love and want to protect you by being more vocal than aggressive. These teddy bear mixes are all bark and no bite. They also tend to do well with small children and other pets, even though they aren't the best when it comes to sharing toys due to the stubbornness that they get from the terrier breed. Remember to always teach your children how to approach and touch dogs, and always supervise any interactions between dogs and young children to prevent any biting or ear or tail pulling on the part of either party. Also, socialization from puppyhood makes a big difference in attitude towards other pets. 
Number 15. Schnoodles live to have fun. Last but not least, these dogs live to have fun. As you have heard many times on this video, these dogs are smart, full of energy, and live to have a good time. You want to keep your dog entertained, which can keep them from boredom and developing destructive habits. Here are some ways to keep them trained. One or two walks per day and lots of naps in between. Fun tricks, such as agility games. Games of fetch, consider a chuck it ball launcher. Digging, since terrier-like breeds like the Schnauzer love to dig, so you could designate an area of your yard to dig and bury a few toys or treats for your pup to dig up. The more fun you make your dog's life, the less likely you are to have behavioral problems at home. A tired dog is a happy and obedient dog. Well, that wraps up the video. If you have any interesting facts about the Schnoodle, please feel free to share it in the comments section. Thank you for watching this video and check out my playlist on the different poodle mixes and other videos. The link below is in the description. Also, don't forget to subscribe to the Dog Solid channel and I'll see you in the next video.